This is Palanpur in the Banaskantha district of Northern Gujarat with a rich history of attracting and embracing different cultures and communities. Like so many Indian towns, Palanpur also marches to the tune of growth and modernity. Palanpur was formerly a princely state ruled by Jalori Nawabs and among their most trusted advisors were members of the Palanpuri Jain community. Over time, the Jains of Palanpur became successful in the diamond trading business and moved out of Palanpur. Shri Kantilal Chotalal Mehta, Kanu Bhai, was one such successful diamond trader. He was a visionary with the desire to give back to his hometown, Palanpur. He believed that education was the best investment for the future generations and set up the Vidya Mandir Trust on the 25th of May 1948. Later, in 1951, the trust took over the Jain Shishushala, a primary school being run in the Jivanwadi locality of Palanpur that had been set up by Sri Surajmal Lallubhai in 1921. Kanubhai's interactions with diverse people across the world brought him in touch with new educational ideas, approaches and techniques. Along with Suryakant Bhai Parikh, an academic visionary who he brought to Palanpur, they laid the foundation of Vidya Mandir which changed the approach to learning in Palanpur. Amara bandha na vicharo pan ek aave ane disha pan ek aave ek jat ne ek atmiya tha thi ke ta hu Palanpur ma ane Mumbai ma ane ame amesha bhiga thi ye Palanpur aur Mumbai aur ane na upar vicharo kari na shuru kiyo. The growth and development of the school was never pre-orchestrated or pre-planned. The key idea should be the center is the child and not a system. And the need of the child is at the center. And the child's individual needs are individually different, not common. There are preconceived ideas what a child should do or a child should grow. And adult approach. When you think of the vision of the founders, they were so much ahead of time to look at education as an empowerment of people. Banas Kata is one of the most underdeveloped districts in Gujarat. And to have started an educational institution with this kind of commitment just requires a very community-oriented spirit of what we call trusteeship. That today, most people want to take from society, take, take and take. This was one institution that was started with the object of giving back to society, back to the community that they came from. Significantly, the founding donors who kindled a spark of philanthropy and inspired the entire community were all women. Kesarben donated a large property along with a bungalow to the trust. This bungalow houses the Palanpur Museum today. Kesarben herself moved into a smaller house in Palanpur and for over 35 years witnessed children playing in Talebagh. Another heartwarming story is that of Chanjima. She got her 10 daughters married while living in the iconic tower building in Palanpur. After her husband Chandubhai died, she herself moved to a small house in Palanpur and gave the tower to the trust to run a Bal Mandir. One of the most memorable donations was that by Captain Ahmed Khan Lohani. 
he and his two wives decided to give away their 56-acre farm in Dhaniana. This contribution really stands out, not only because it is one of the most prominent contributions, but also because it was from a non-Jain and truly highlights the secular fabric of the organization. The Baal Mandirs or kindergarten schools are at the very core of learning. This is where the child blossoms and discovers the joys of activity-based learning without the pressure of just formal education. The next level of secondary schools is designed with the focus of providing education of the highest standards while keeping pace with the changing times. The Trust has always remained firmly committed to its original principles and values of a child-centered, liberal, broad-based education. Over time, the Vidya Mandir Trust has widened its scope to even more challenging areas and perhaps the most path-breaking has been its work with the differently abled. The first school for the visually challenged was set up in 1964 with two students. Over time, Mamta Mandir has grown to address the needs of the visually impaired, hearing and speech impaired and physically and mentally challenged. Contemporary teaching methods and the latest technological aids are used to facilitate learning and maximize the potential of these young minds. The Trust provides free schooling and hostels for over 400 such students who have found a caring space to express themselves and prepare for a productive life with dignity and self-worth. The Trust runs various vocational workshops for these students so that they can be independent and earn their livelihood. The Vidya Mandir Trust has also pioneered the concept of integrating children with different abilities into mainstream education, which is now being propagated strongly by all educationists. The strength of any educational institution is determined by the quality of its teaching staff. Recognizing this, the Trust has been running teacher training courses for pre-primary to higher secondary teachers since the early 1970s. This not only ensures well-qualified input into its own institutions, but also helps meet the needs of other schools across the state. The Trust strives to innovate and improve in all aspects of education. To help students excel in competitive exams like JEE and NEET, the Trust has recently introduced an advanced computer lab equipped with software 
designed to test the students' understanding of various subjects. Today, students of Vidya Mandir have been successful in multiple fields, ranging from academics to sports, arts, technology, businesses and services. You know, one of the largest feeder school in Gujarat to a medical college and an engineering college has been Vidya Mandir. I mean, that itself speaks that, you know, we've had two students who've topped the entire Gujarat government in the SSC board. Now, with that foundation of Bharvina Nubantar and the joy of learning, this is the result that you see. Certain years, as many as 100 students went from Vidya Mandir to uh, medical colleges. One out of 13,000 students goes into medicine in Gujarat, whereas one out of 1,100 goes into uh, medicine in Palanpur. So over the years, we've been uh, producing a lot of doctors, and when some of them came back and continued to practice, Palanpur as a medical center kept uh, growing. Don't forget that this is going on for 50 years and this is the key driver uh, for Palanpur's economy. So to that extent, I think we take pride and we take satisfaction from the fact that we, not only have we been able to impact the life of the individuals, but we've been able to impact the uh, economy of the region. Gujarat as a state has always lacked in focus and attention to sports. At Vidya Mandir, however, the Sports Academy offers excellent sports facilities and produces some of the finest sporting talent in Gujarat. Since 2000, when the academy was established, there has been a substantial rise in the number of students training at state and national level. We give importance to academic as well as non-academic. We give importance to sports and we give, give importance to English. So to that extent, I think what we have tried to do over the years is to ensure that a child when he comes out of Vidya Mandir is an independent, capable, educated child. Currently, the activities of the Trust are spread over 14 campuses, encompass 152 institutions, with a staff of 450 persons that brings together over 6,000 children from diverse backgrounds and with varying needs. It is essential that donors are confident that contribution will be well spent. For this, the Trust has ensured financial integrity, transparency and accountability in its functioning. The rake management जी रीते પોતાની કંપનીનો વિચાર કરે છે કે નેક્સ્ટ 25 વર્ષમાં હું આ કંપનીને ક્યાં લઈ જઈશ એવી રીતે દરેક ટ્રસ્ટ નોન પ્રોફિટ એરિયામાં બી કોન્સ્ટન્ટલી વિચાર કરતું હોય છે કે આનાથી વધારે આપણે બેટર કેવી રીતે કરી શકીએ અને એ કોન્સ્ટન્ટ જર્ની છે એમાં કોઈ ડેસ્ટિનેશન નથી એટલે આજે કે નેક્સ્ટ બીજા 20 25 વર્ષમાં જેમ જેમ એજ્યુકેશન બદલાતું જશે એની પદ્ધતિ બદલાતી જશે શિક્ષણ આપવાની जब के कोरोना काल में आपने बेवरस टोटली ऑनलाइन थे क्या था अने फिजिकल क्लासेस बंद था तो ट्रस्ट कुड एडॉप्ट वेरी फास्ट टू दैट चैलेंजेस ले जेम जेम चैलेंजेस आओ से इन्हें आपने केवरी ते सरमाउंड कर भी अने वगैरह चैलेंजेस अपन आपने केवरी ते विचार करो कांस्टेंटली टू चेंज फॉर द ब एडुकेशन में भी जे पहला बनता था ना अत्यार बनता था एमा भी फर्क चहे कहाँ के दरेक डिफरेंट टाइप नी करियर लोगों ना मगज में विचार होए चहे इटले ये बद्दा ने मगज में रखी ने ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस वी आर कांस्टेंटली थिंकिंग वी आर कांस्टेंटली ट्राइंग टू इनोवेट सो वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट दिस कंट्री and what the employees have in terms of skill. While education may have got literacy, education has not been able to give the skills 
that a business and industry is requiring. So there is a gap between these needs of the employer and what the employees are able to get. So we've established what, what we call Vidyamandir Center for Skill Development. The idea is very simple to, to give the competencies to the employees that is required to find a job. Uh, the first area that we thought was uh, most essential for Banaskata and Palanpur was nursing and healthcare. We are opening uh, the nursing college and we are starting uh, courses in the healthcare under the uh, Vidyamandi Center for Skill Development. The success of the Vidya Mandir Trust is a true example of a shared vision, innovative ideas, a dedicated staff and excellent teamwork. The continued involvement of the Palanpuri people with their roots and a commitment to create a center of excellence is the story of Vidya Mandir.